Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Intricat 2018 in Peru. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 036 underscore BIAB where you save it. You can download this file on the website, but if you don't have access into this exercise file, just sit down and watch or use your own file. Although the 3D model can display the way the end product will going to look, what is not sufficient when it comes in terms of construction. To do that, we need some 2D elements like the elevation. For example, in architectural design, we have the front elevation, right elevation, and so on. To accomplish this is very easy in AutoCAD. All you need to do, you go to the view control and click whatever view is current and select front for the front elevation. Zoom in to see the model clearly. Now, this is the front elevation of the building. But it's difficult for you to dimension this elevation. And without dimension, it's difficult for the engineers to construct the product the way you want them to do. So, to accomplish that task, let's change our workspace to the 3D model workspace. Go to the workspace which is on the status bar and click the down arrow. Select 3D modeling. In the 3D modeling workspace, go to the home tab, section panel and click the down arrow. Select the flat shoot option. This will bring the flat shoot dialog box. You can insert as a new block or replace existing block. So leave this box check. You can export this to a file. You can save it into the current drawing. Now let's click the grid button to see the result. Is the AutoCAD snap to the front face and grid for you a 2D elevation. At the specify injection point prompt, click anywhere in the drawing. At the specifying scale factors, let's accept the default scale factor of 1. At the specifying X scale factor, press enter to accept the 1. At the specifying rotation angle, press enter to accept the default angle. As you can see, when you generate a 2D like that, the new object takes on the current layer. Now you see the stairs on the background. Let's select this block and hit delete on a gable. Now go to the flat shoot command again by clicking this down arrow and select the flat shoot. In the flat shoot dialog box, uncheck this box show upscale line and click create to see the results. You see now you get more realistic elevation. You no longer see through the stairs or the other objects that are on the background. Click anywhere in the drawing, press enter twice, and press enter to accept the rotation angle. You see, this gives us more realistic elevation than the previous one. Select this and hit delete on the keyboard. Now, before we continue, let's create some layers. Go to the Home tab, Layer panel, and click the Layer Properties. Click the New Layer button. Rename this layer front elevation. Front elevation and leave all the other settings as they are. Now select the elevation and hold down the control key and type C on your keyboard. Click the new layer button again. Rename this layer to right elevation and change the color to white. Highlight layer 0 and click the new layer button. The new layer click on the properties of layer 0. Type Elif front. Click the new layer button again. Elif right. Elif rear. Elif Click OK to close the dialog box. Now go to the layer panel and set the elevation front as the current layer. Now go to the section panel and click the down arrow. Select the flat shoot command. Make sure that your setting match up to mine. I'm going to grid it to rear. Specifically, which focus on how to grid a 2D solid from a 3D object. This is an introduction on how to grid a 2D drawing from a 3D model. 
I'm going to greet a, a tutorial specifically on how to greet a 2D drawing from a 3D model. Now I'll go to the greet, click the greet button. As you can see, the the elevation take on the property of the current layer. At the specified insertion point from, click anywhere in the drawing. At the enter X scale factor, press enter. At the enter and Y scale factor, press enter to accept default. At the specified rotation angle, press enter to accept the zero. Your elevation is being created. You can go further and edit the explode this block and edit the elevation. To do that, select the elevation, go to the home tab, modify panel, click this down arrow and select the explode command. Now select this line and delete it. Select this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Select this, hit delete. Select the fillet command. Select this and this erase this object this is your elevation front elevation so i'm going to select now let's export this drawing into a new file select this elevation and hit delete on your keyboard now go to the home tab section panel and click the down arrow select the flat shoot command this will bring the flat shoot dialog box now select the export to file select the directory where you want to save the file Click this button. This will bring the, the Browse for Drawing File dialog box. Go to the desktop and select the folder that you create for the file on this tutorial. Double click My YouTube folder which you create for this, for this tutorial. And double click the Designing an Impressive Architectural Building in AutoCAD 2018. Name this file to 00 underscore 037 underscore DIAB and click the Save button. Click the create button. AutoCAD creates the file in the background. Now let's go and bring this file. Go to the quick access tool and click the open button. Navigate to your folder and look for the drawing 00 underscore 037 underscore DIAB and click open. When you open this file, you don't see any drawing in the drawing area. So to see your drawing, go to the navigation bar and click the zoom extent button or type z on your keyboard and press enter and type e and press enter this is your front elevation you can go ahead and edit this file by selecting and erase this object select and erase this object select and erase this object this line is look like this line continue from this point to this point so go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command Select this line and this line. Select the fillet command again. Zoom in into this area. Fillet this line to this line. Erase this line. Select this line and erase them. This line. Select this line. Erase. Click the zoom extent button and click the save icon. Now back to the 00 underscore 036 underscore DIAB. Go to the view control and click the current view select right this gives you the right elevation click the zoom extent button go to the home tab layer panel and make the elive right as the current layer elive right as the current layer now go to the home tab section panel click the down arrow and select the flat shoot command this will bring the flat shoot dialog box check the export to file button and click this button to select a directory double click the to go to the desktop and select the folder the my youtube folder that you create for this tutorial double click the designing and impressive architectural building folder rename this file to 00 underscore 038 underscore diab and click the save button now focus on this area autocad will give you a preview during the generation process click the great button The drawing is being created. Go to the view control and click the back. Click, go to the home tab, section panel and click the down arrow. Select the flat shoot command. This will bring the flat shoot dialog box. Click the radio, bo the ellipse button to select a directory. Double click the desktop, my YouTube folder, designing an impressive building. Rename this file to 00 underscore. 039 underscore diab and click the save button focus on this area and click the 
great button go to the view control and select the left option the left view go to the home tab section panel and click the down arrow select the flat shoot command select the grid command if you don't select a file name autocad save the file to the document folder with a name new block and we have a name new block already exists in the document folder that's why autocad asks you if you want to replace this block go and select no and click this ellipse button then double click to the desktop my youtube folder design an impressive building rename this file to 00 underscore 040 underscore diab and click the save button now click great now let's go and open this file to see the results select the file 00 underscore select the file 00 underscore 0 00 underscore 038 diab and click the open button go to the navigation bar and click the zoom extent button select this line to edit your drawing erase this line select this line erase it select this line hit delete on your keyboard this line hit delete use a window selection to select this line this line hit delete go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter fillet this line to this line this line to this line press escape use a window selection and select this select this hit delete go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim of this area this area press escape now the navigation bar is not display in this drawing type nav bar and select on click the zoom extent button click the save button close this drawing and close the font elevation go to the quick access toolbar and click the open button scroll down and select the zero underscore zero three nine underscore diab and click open click the go to the quick access toolbar and click the open command again select zero zero underscore zero four zero underscore diab and click open now select the 00 underscore 039 underscore diab to make it the current drawing click the zoom extent button zoom out to see your entire drawing and edit this drawing select this line this lines this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this line this line hit delete on your keyboard select this line hit delete click the zoom extent button go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button click the x button to close this drawing now you are in the 00 underscore 040 underscore diab click the zoom extent button zoom out select these lines and hit delete on your keyboard select this line hit delete type you on your keyboard to undo you delete too much select this line and hit delete this line this line zoom in into this area select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this line hit delete select this line and hit delete hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command fillet this line to this line select this line and hit delete select these lines hit delete select the fillet command fillet this line to this line use a window selection and delete these lines click the zoom extent button and click the save button click close to close this drawing